guys here, and today in this video, guys, we are going to be going over another Vermilion custom, or not Vermilion, but another Lego Ninjago Season 7 custom set, guys. And today, this set is called the Time Sword Hijack. So, guys, let's go ahead and get right on into this amazing custom set. So guys, just a little backstory for this little custom set that I have made right here. Basically guys, what is going on is that we have this nice little uh, sanctuary that is holding one of the time swords. I will tell you which time sword it is later, but then the, the ninja actually Cole and Jay had found the time sword, but then the Vermilion decided to come and hijack it with their huge, or at least in my case, huge vehicle compared to their others. So yeah guys, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the ninja minifigures because they don't really have much relevance of going over the showcase, uh, showcasing, what is it, showcasing the, uh, the, the vehicle, yeah, the main build of this custom set. Now guys, this is just, this is, I'm calling it a Vermilion Transport, um, like in my previous ve vehicles that I have built, I never really spent time on coming up with a name with them, so if you guys have uh, any suggestions, Leave them in the comments below. I will probably take it in as a as the name for the vehicle. I might even call it that in the stop motion. Uh, the camera looks a little bit dark. See if I can focus it. Focus camera. There we go. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, guys, this is the main build. Build. It is the Vermilion Transport. Now, guys, on the back right here, this is the hook, grappling hook right here in the back. I don't know why I'm starting in the back, but yeah. And then this is the Vermilion Shrine. Let's go ahead and remove. This little piece right there, so that is pretty much the grappling hook, right there. And so, there is a stud with the black lightsaber hilt bar thing, and there is an anti-stud on the back of these uh, side panel pieces, so that's pretty cool. Camera focus for me, focus, focus, focus. There we go, guys. Um, yeah, as I said, I, as I said before, I would reveal the time sword name, and I did my homework. I know what t which time sword this is. This is the pause time sword that's right guys so uh yeah that is it for the vermilion shrine with the time swords i don't know why i'm calling it vermilion shrine it just looks like it with the white fang pieces but yeah so that is it for the back the pretty much just a grappling hook and then i have these nice little brick elements that makes it look like it's like i don't know swerving backwards or something but it just looks like it's leaving streams of light behind and then for the front, I did add little fang elements. These are light silver tooth pieces in the back. I mean, in the front. And then, let's go ahead and remove this vermilion figure. You guys have seen it before. Um, bird view right, bird's eye view right there. And then we have our nice little control panel, as you can see. And he's sitting in a brown generic chair. And how he is doing that is because since it, all his armor takes up one stud back, I placed this part of his legs onto the studs of the chair so he fits in nicely and so guys for some reason i decided to put binoculars over here looks like some type of sighting or something i don't know and then we have some windscreens with some one by uh, one by two by one dark uh not dark but tra dark black trans pieces those yeah and then guys for defense we have our turrets on the side now, for some reason, I decided to add wings onto this vehicle. I don't know why. It just looks pretty neat. And so we have these uh, turrets right here. And two generic vermilion are controlling them. I will show you the vermilion in the uh, minifigure part of the video. But yeah, since they are on jumpers, as you can see right here, they are able to swivel around. And so they are full 360 turrets on the x-axis of things, of course. They can't really point up and down, sadly. But yeah, that is it. Well, why does it keep breaking off? But yeah, guys, that is it for the Vermilion Transport. Uh, uh, some of the, just a little bit of details, I used the silicone pipes, P uh, not pipe, but hose pieces that LEGO has made, so those are pretty cool. I just decided to add them on there, and then I used these gel bar pieces because they look pretty neat. And on the back, you can see this red slope. I don't know, I just... And all guys, I think the shaping looks pretty good for this vehicle. Alrighty guys, so let's go on to the separate vehicles and other builds. Alrighty guys, so this is pretty much the only other build that is included in this set besides the main build. I don't know why I keep on saying build. That's weird. But yeah, um, guys, so basically, you guys have probably seen me use this method before with a previous J jetpack. Uh, for that video, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'll go ahead and link it in the description box below. But yeah, guys. 
basically, how this jetpack is attached onto Jay's back, even while he was holding his black uh, transfusion whatever armor, is basically that when I remove this, this is actually an anti-stud, and or the back of a stud, and the anti-stud can actually attach on inside a the scabbard part if there are no swords inside one of these armor pieces. And so if you just attach it right there, you can swivel him around, as you can see right there. So that's pretty cool indeed. And then we have these nice little blue pin pieces with some. See if I can get some light in there. Yeah, the trans blue, the studs right there. Those are pretty cool. And so since they can slot into the holes of this piece right here, it looks like he's being uh, propelled into the air with some type of lightning propulsion or whatever. And that looks pretty cool indeed. And then we also have some blue clip pieces, some golden clip pieces, and some katanas. Just for, you know, wings and aerodynamics, of course. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and go on to the minifigure part of the video. So guys, this is the minifigure part, or just the minifigure clip part of the video. And pretty much, guys, these are the only minifigures that I have actually not shown you guys in any of my videos. Because that these are the only video minifigures that you haven't seen. And the other minifigures that are included in this custom set are I know what the general's name is. His name is General Blunk. And then we have a just a higher form of Vermilion. I don't know. But for some reason he's higher because he has less print. I don't know why. But yeah, it's the same person with the same helmet and the crown. And he has his two Vermilion weapons, so that's pretty cool. And just so that's just another Vermillion, just higher ranking. And then we have Jay in his fusion suit, that's pretty cool. Another custom and Cole in his fusion suit, so that's pretty cool too. So guys, if you guys do want to see those figures, those two videos, we actually I actually showcase them in two videos, two separate videos, and those will be linked in the description as well. But yeah, guys, these are the mini figures that I have not shown you guys um, in any of my videos actually. And these are both just really generic Vermilion, like they're the lowest class of all. So they have, um, I forgot which, I think it was like the Stone the stone Warriors where they have the mouthpiece. Those printed legs, because they do, the printed legs are different among them. The ones with the bamboo hats are the ones with the crown and the helmet and the mask and all. But yeah guys, and for the weapons, I actually upgraded this the mace this mace I've been using for a lot of a million figures I upgraded it with one single trans red stud so that just looks pretty neat I don't know but it, it helps it's going to bring that back to the camera if you haven't seen it it's a flick fire missile base and so technically this could be used as a flick fire missile and then we have the red two piece right there so that is just the mace it's going to put that back together and then the other weapon that the Vermilion is using, or this Vermilion, is just a sword, and it's just with it used um, a red claw piece, and this T-bar shaped piece right here. I'm kind of considering changing that to uh, black, but yeah, probably I will. But then, I use the Day of the Departed Stone Warrior torsos, because they look quite better than the uh, older Stone Warrior ones, just the hands and the black arms, it's just everything in general, and I actually do not have um, any more dark gunmetal gray uh, shoulder armor, so I used silver from the uh, ZX Ninja, and then we have our normal Stone Warrior faces in the red print, and the blue, uh, not the blue, the gunmetal gray helmets right there, as you can see, as you can see right there, so that's pretty neat indeed, and then they're back printing, let's go ahead and turn it to the back, Go ahead and give you a 360 look, there you go. And then let's go ahead and take off all their armor and their helmets. And there you go guys, as you can see right there, I removed the uh, silver armor pieces with the power of editing. And pretty much that's all the back printing and they actually do not have any back printing or alternate faces on their heads. So that's pretty neat, or not really, but that's just how the, the Stone Warriors are and customs. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video, let's go ahead and wrap it up. Alrighty guys, that is it for today's video. As I mentioned before, this custom set did take quite a while to build. But yeah guys, stay tuned in. This is Admiral Master signing out. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace out guys.